Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer. Welcome back to another vlog. And today I'm gonna give you the answer as to why DJs go from looking like this to this right here. I am going into these studios. I'm supposed to be in studio four. I'm bringing all of these costumes in a bag. Let's go in. All right. The area. And we got a stunt double here. Hi. Yes, yeah. Test image. Test image, yeah. lighting and everything. Yeah, just checking. No makeup. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> we're not just doing press photos, we're actually doing photos for my new visuals as well. My old visuals, which I've been using for a couple of years now, were amazing and awesome, and now we're gonna take it to the next level. And I had suggested doing some superhero action. I don't know if you remember, but the super yous and me's around the world, I often had custom made costumes and especially for Tomorrowland and whatnot. And today I'm wearing them again. I'll be very curious to see if I can fit them still. And we're gonna go on a picture with them and I'm very excited for this. I'm in the, in the makeup area now right here. This is where the magic happens because actually we need to talk about my, my sunspots which are getting worse. I don't know if you remember that vlog where I was in Japan and I just like had laser on here and so what are we gonna do here about this? A lot of makeup right? A lot of makeup yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is a bit confronting like because all these like little blemishes and, and all the lights and everything and so this is why some DJs look all like glammed up on the photos. All of these things um, have to go. The magic just happened. How do I look? No blemishes, nice and moist lips. Uh, shout out to my wife who's always saying something about that. I was gonna say we're gonna dive into the photo set, but not yet. We're actually gonna dive into here. Kim, our stylist, has like laid back loop clothes laid out. We're gonna dive in there first. Leather pants. This is for the first time ever I'm wearing leather pants. And I'm wearing, I'm wearing uh, these necklaces as well which look kind of fancy. So the magic happened again, but the real magic, the real magic is happening here with superstar photographer Ruud Baan. Ruud Baan, who's famous for his work for Nike. We've worked together before, very dynamic pictures. I'm just gonna take place over there with the, with the big light and we're gonna get cracking. New York time, drunk on a Saturday night. Hands on my body, all right, all right. Outfit number two. And it's the second time ever in my life I'm wearing leather pants, but now they're green. The first shoot went really well. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. Obviously in real life, this looks a little bit like too much, but on the photos, it'll be okay. So I'm going back in. Outfit number three. I guess I'm gonna go biking. I can't lie, even after all these decades of doing press photos, it's the weirdest thing. Just standing here, looking into the light. You're surrounded by, you know, the stage or nothing. And then there's the photographer saying like, oh, chin up, like do this, this pose. And people around saying like, oh, can you like have more intention or smile a little bit. And what you need to do right here is all kind of sort of acting. Outfit number four, by the way, a little bit of sensation white. We got all the chains going on and everything. Literally the first decade that I did press pictures, I was so uncomfortable in front of the camera. I didn't know how to look, where, where to look, what kind of like mindset or like image I wanted to portray. And what basically helped me is uh, just practicing in the mirror a little bit at home, just to see, you know, where, where the right angle is, what kind of like look works best for my face and kind of go from there. Although on set, you'll always get pointers from, from like the photographer to try and help you out with looking the best possible way. Outfit number five. All right, so we're three in one today. I'm wearing the hood because we're going onto the dark channel shoot now. We, we wrapped up laid back Luke just now, a little bit darker and then uh, stay tuned because next up will also be superhero outfits. Before we continue, before we get into dark channel mode, make sure to give me a like and subscribe right now and make sure to leave in the comments as well what you think about these type of sessions. And maybe also let me know what you think of what I'm wearing. All right, let's get back to the vlog. You're flexing. You're flexing. 
super happy with the dark channel shoot. We are going for a fresher look, a little bit more color, a little bit of a different mask for dark channel. These are all rounded up now. Now I get to go in a real superhero costume and it's one of my favorite superhero costumes all time. This is one we did back in 2010 together with Stan Lee. And this is what he said about my event. And dig this, laid back Luke has promised to personally wear the winner's costume at his Super You and Me concert on Governor's Island in June. So an iconic, iconic costume. I can't wait to, um, to wear it, but look at this. What is this? It's a lot of buttons. A lot of buttons. Look at this, look at this. This is a double L's on here. Auke is the man behind my old visuals. We're gonna create new visuals. I am gonna be producing here as an alter ego and then get into my superhero costume, right? Exactly. All right, here we are, the moment of truth. Six and a half hours of shoot. I am finally back in my old school laid back Luke superhero outfit. Let me know what you think of this original suit. Got the logo, got the Dutch flag on here, got the, the real goggles. I'm excited to round this day off with something as iconic as my old costume. I'm so ready for this. Seven and a half hours this took today. Huge, huge photo shoot. And what shocked me, and this is why I'm making this vlog, what shocked me as a beginning artist were these sessions. I was so bad at these, very uncomfortable with these. Every once in a while you get to place yourself in front of a camera and not like Instagram, not like social media. These are pictures that we're gonna use for digital flyers, digital posters, promotion for shows. And obviously I'm much better at making music. That's very natural to me, but you get placed for a camera and all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, so now you need to do the, the model type of thing, the, knowing how to look, knowing how to pose. And so I want you to, to see this as well, know what you're going through and, and investing a day like this in new press pictures and new visuals. So keep an eye out on that. I hope you got some info out of this. Make sure to give me a like and a subscribe right now. There's plenty of vlogs on the way and I'm excited to catch you back here for the next one. Until then, L's up.